Lord have mercy If I call you baby For me, too much for me. It's here too much for me. It's too much. Oh. Baby, let's stop the fighting. And I want let's stop the fighting. And I want Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, 
uh, you give them just a chance to let them know what Food for Souls is about. Yes. yes. And I think that, you know, it shows this through your work product. Not your work product, but men with this work product. Yes. And people truly enjoy your food. Yes. They definitely do. Yes. And I see how you and your staff make every effort to welcome people, you know, and, and be respectful and kind to them. And I was just wondering how responsive Black community has been to food for soul. Well, as some know, in the last 10 years, it's, it's really not a, a side of the Black community, or it's like that we're not even a soul food. Uh, we are food for the soul. So we put love in the oven and we do a lot of prayer because prayer is the principal thing and that seasons our food, a lot of prayer. And so that's where we found it. And we did all walks of life. We did uh, every denomination. We did creeds that come from different states, different cities. I said, you know, we're number uh, one on Yelp. We got five ways on Google. I mean, I don't understand it, but I know prayer is the basic foundation of you know, energy religion. Uh, I'm just based a believer in that one of mighty God. He directs my footsteps. He directs all our steps. And, you know, it's a, it's a God-based church, you know. It's not a black thing or a white thing. It's not a Jew or a Gentile. This place is food for the soul. And food for the soul is love because you must not live by the bread alone, but you live by the word of God. Because this bread is not going to heal us and give us life, but the word. And so that's how we intertwine. We intertwine the food for the soul, and we put it in with the spiritual realm of God, and you mix that thing up, and you get all walks of life. So, and I'm just thanking the community, thanking everybody nationally, because he's coming from all over. And yeah. I, again, he's opening the windows of heaven, and he's pouring out the blessing, you know. And we're just serving, and serving. I mean, we just tell people five, ten years ago, if you don't have no food, you don't have enough. Come to food for the soul. We, we don't have a problem. We're, we're not about a money-based place. We are a God-based place. And, and I thank God that he, he, he put the word on me to, because I'm nothing. But he took nothing. He's starting to make something. At least I follow my passion to see people eat, to see people laugh. And our, our basic fundamentals is safety. Safety food. You know, we make sure our food's cleansing. It's, it's, it's based, you know, safety, service, and, and, and love. And when you put smiles on people's face, it ain't us, it's just God. It's the God's with me. I can't get the credit. But he gets the glory, I tell the story. I don't have a problem telling the story because he's getting glory. So, I, you know, so again, you know, and that's why the food for the soul. Again, you don't live by bread alone, but put the word, this word here. And we got like a, a, a warehouse of seeds coming out of here. And we need a word, we need encouragement, we need a prayer, we need to lay hands on. Anything we need, we got it because we're just here for anything. Any kind of seed, we have it. You need some food. And it's been based that because he said we give it comes back. It does. It comes back, and, and you can measure it. And, you know, press it down. But it, that it does come back. And you know, again, you know, so you know, we do. We work with CCRIs and the, the Chamber of Commerce too. They send these interns in here, the teenagers, mm -hmm. and they go back with good reports. And you know, they come back years later and say thank you. You know, and and thank you. But I said, don't thank me. Thank God. Thank God. And just keep me as a vessel. But I, I'm glad that food for soul has been found it. Because again, we've been in 12, 13 years, and we don't know who's our customers. You know, we are nationally. I was looking for Rhode Island Providence, but obviously, the Providence, you know, the, the, the many people are different. But God's going to send them nationally, and they are all over. And I said, you know what? And that's what we're doing here today. So, good diversity. And all walks of life comes in here. Every church, every different denomination, every color, every nationality. And I thank God for that because it's food for the soul. So, I can attest to the quality of the food, yeah, but you do a lot of catering. So, how do people get in touch with you? Well, they can touch with us on food. So, we have a, 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 a website, it's uh, what, uh, food for the soul 149 uh, at yahoo.com. Um, uh, we service, you know, all the college jobs in Wales, PC, you know. And, and it's just so great, and then we do all the caterers, you know, I mean, like every other week, so we're, we're all from caterers, I don't, I don't get right in college, we have to you know, all the interns, all the students, they all come here, and we're doing caterers like that, great, great, you know, yes, oh yeah, so, it's just a quality food, you know, like I said, we serve, everything's fresh, corn on a cob, mashed potatoes, we got baked chicken, baked tenders, 
big ribs, so everything's good. Press them all free, you know, we got collard greens, and more collard greens, and more collard greens, and more collard greens, and more collard greens. But anyways, you know, and so with the string beans and you know, the big beans and everything's cooked because we put the rum in the oven, a little bit of bread and season the food with great salt in there because we don't deserve to be here one foot. Let's go. But so I, I just, again, I, I just thank, I thank God uh, uh, again for just putting us here. He's going to always get the honor and praise because uh, I decided to, to, to come out of the closet and stop being a closet Christian to come out and say, you know what? It's God doing this. It's not me. It's God. And sometimes I used to hide guys to put in the back burner and say, nah, I ain't talking about you, Lord. And so then, and it's really growing a lot. So I thank you for that question. I really believe it. It's, it's the diversity of people coming through here. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm modeling how, how this place is. And it's really great. We got a good staff. We got a good staff of people. We got the managers. You know, they do their parts. And we all have our part to fill. And yes, and I'm one of the head cooks of work. So, um, and yeah, I want, I would love to have Dennis and Timothy come out, but before they come out, yes. feel free to provide a message to our viewers. I like to say that anybody who's broke down, cast down, or, or who's, who's got problems, you just give the problem to God and he will solve them. Uh, they don't go by what it looks like or what you feel, because the word is the same yesterday, today, forever. What he's doing for, for 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 me and for your family. Just find a church home. Find a family-based place. And if if you need anything, a word of encouragement. Uh, if you want to come in for some catering, we do catering. We, we take the, the no jobs. We pick a small. Uh, we do pops. We, 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 we take the we do it all over. And that's what we do for the so We're just a, a company just trying to get back to the community and just trying to create jobs and, and give back. And, that's what God wants to serve. To serve is greater than one who's, you know, eating or or, or, or receiving, you know. And and that's what I thought. Because God is love, and God is the word. And without God, you know, there's there's, there's no love in the world. You know? So God said, you know, just come out among your family, be separated. You all have a pearl inside of you, and, and whatever your gift is out there, it's in you. It's it, it's it's in you. It might not be cooking. It might not be preaching. It might not be teaching. It might not be photography. It may not be nothing, else, but you have a gift inside of you, everyone. So I'm just telling you, uh, whoever, or uh, heavy laden, or weary, just come to food for the soul. I'm all, and we can direct you to a church. Uh, you know, I'm not the preacher, teacher, I'm not the pastor, I'm just Brother Rob. We're trying to make a difference in the world, and if we can stop it one at a time, and make disciples of all people. I guess some discipline of the word. Disciples, discipline of the word. If we can do that one on one, each one teach one, each one reach one, and that's what our mission is: each one teach one, each one reach one. And I don't care the Jew, Gentile, black and white, gay and straight, get this race, go to church, find a home, find a father, and I guarantee you will transform you. And you will not be conformed to the world; you will be transformed by the rule of that word, that word that goes in our mind. You will be transformed. And I just thank them, and I thank the world, and I thank my customers for their number one. Without them. We have nothing. And I thank you again. Yes. We well, thank you because that's a heartfelt response to that last question. Yes. Yes. And, uh, you. you know, we taste the love. Thank you so much. Yes. So now, uh, Timothy? Yes. And Dennis? Uh, well, I'm almost in my right. Is um, Timothy and Dennis? They're both co they manage uh, food for the soul and um, inspire others. Yes. And I'd love for them to be able to say a word, share a word with you. Um, well, my name is Timothy Mignon, I'm the manager here, and uh, I just love to see how uh, God uses us to bless people out here in the community, give to people, uh, either through word or through food. And that we're going to continue to be a blessing and help, help change the community behind us around, around Rhode Island, around Providence, around all New England. And we're the light on a hill that cannot be covered. And, and then God will shine that light brighter and brighter and more people will keep coming to this, to this light and help you, uh, change people's lives forever. Thank Amen. Amen. Since I've been that fool for the soul, it's been more than just a restaurant. It's been like a ministry because at Food for the Soul, you don't just get food, you get love, you get joy, 
because you come and you leave with a smile on your face. So when you get food for your soul, it's not just soul food. You get actual food for your soul. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for Thank your you. mentoring. Thank you for being part of our show this evening. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Thank you. Folks, you've heard it from Africa Teaching. We're delighted that you took a few minutes to watch our show and learn about food for the soul. I want to thank you three gentlemen for taking your time out of your busy schedule to spend it with us and share the food for soul yes. philosophy. And um, I hope that you too will make a difference. I'm Karen and Ronnie Tess, your host. Lord have mercy, if I call you baby, I just need you to answer me, and if I call you baby, I just want you to answer me, answer me now, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, Up the phone.